Today we'll break down the map animation that I've created for my Patreon. I'll show you how I created this map and titles, how I animated the paths and camera animations, which textures I've used, and as a bonus I will show you a few tricks that will make your life in After Effects way easier. First, let's go to the composition settings. The composition is 4K, it's 3840 pixels by 2160. The frame rate is 24 and the duration is 10 seconds. Let's begin the breakdown with the background. This is just a plain solid, it's 2D and it has this dark blue color. Then goes the map. This is a black and white map and I've applied the linear color key to it. The key color is black, so I have removed the black color and now we can see the background through this map. Then I've added a tint, which has made this white color orange. Here is the exact value. By the way, I want to make a video where I answer your questions about After Effects and motion design in general. And I need your help with this video. Write down your questions that you want to ask about motion graphics and After Effects in the comment section below. And I will make a video answering these questions. And that's it. Thank you for your help. Back to the tutorial. Then goes the country highlight. The country highlight is a white solid with a mask applied to it. And it has a white fill. The blending mode is soft light. So it's just nice and see-through. Then I've duplicated this country highlight and named it country borders highlight. It's basically a border. This layer has a stroke with a brush size 1 and brush hardness 79. Then I've applied the glow to it. The glow threshold is 47.8, glow radius 14 and glow intensity Two. After that I've duplicated the glow, it's the very same glow. And one more time. But the second duplicate goes with the threshold of 47.8, glow radius 30 and glow intensity 1. It's just half as strong, but it spreads out more. Here's without this glow and with it. If you want to learn in details how to create such map and its borders, you can take a look at this tutorial right here. This tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a similar highlight and this map. Next goes the title background. This is a simple shape layer that has a scale animation. Here you can see it goes from 0 to 100. And the scale animation goes only by X axis. I've unlinked it right here and animated it by X axis scale. Also, I've smoothed out it a bit. Here is the curve. To animate it from left to right, you have to shift the anchor point to the left. You can do this either manually with the help of anchor point tool like this, or you can do it with a single click of a single button with the help of my free script right here. And it immediately returns this point to the very left side, right into the middle. You can get this script for free on my Patreon page, so check it out right there. Next go the subtitles. They are basically the same title with the same animation, the only difference is that this title is darker, it has the color of the background the color of the C is 19434E. And this title is white. And beside being just white, it has a glow applied to it. Here's the glow settings. Glow threshold 17.6, glow radius 13 and glow intensity 1. Then I've duplicated this glow with the glow threshold of 47.8, glow radius 133 and glow intensity 1. The second glow is spreading out more. And what about the title animation? This title animation is fade up lines, as far as I remember, or fade up characters. It doesn't matter because here's the trick. I'll open this animator and advanced. If you recreate these settings, you will get this exact animation. So it doesn't actually matter which one I've used here. One of those. And the offset is animated from minus 100% to 100% on the second second. It sounds weird. Well, on the second number two. 
second second the main title it's the same title as the previous ones it's just big and it has the same glow as this white title then go the three names of the cities i will not pronounce them because i'll definitely butcher the pronunciation so these cities they are the same titles as this one and this one they are just not in caps the animation is the same Next are three points which indicate these cities. They're animated in sequence, and these are just basic white shape layers that are animated by scale. They're also in a soft light mode with the opacity of 100, and the scale is smoothed out with the help of curves. Here's the curves look in the graph editor. Next goes my favorite, dashed lines and little titles these ones tiny ones these titles have the same animation as all the other titles the only difference is that they have one layer of glow its glow threshold is 17.6 glow radius 14 and glow intensity one and what about the dashed lines these are just the lines that i've created with the help of pen tool like this here's the line the color is plain white and the stroke width is 8 pixels. To make these lines dashed, unfold the shape layer, go to shape 1, stroke, and add dashes right here by clicking the plus. You can change the dash and offset to change their scale. I'll just have to find the first dash. It's here. It can be either very small or huge. I'll leave it by default. It's 10. To animate the path, I've used the Trim Paths modifier. You can add it right here, Add Trim Paths. And then I've just animated the end. It goes from 0 to 100. And it's smoothed out a bit, like this. All the other titles and lines are the same, absolutely the same. The only difference is that these lines and titles have different color. This title has the color of double zero, C2, FF, and the dashed line is the same color. And next goes the camera. I've used the camera that's parented to the null, which is in 3D. It's way easier to animate the camera this way. By the way, you can create this whole camera rig with a single click of a single button with the help of my free script right here. Create a camera rig. And it creates a camera and the null object. And the camera is already parented to the null object, so you can do whatever you want immediately with this camera. It's quite useful, I should say. So. I'll unfold this null object, and here's the animation. It's a simple animation that goes from left to right and rotates a bit. Here is the position and rotation at the beginning, and here they are at the end of the animation. And yes, I have keyframes right here, I have not removed them and set the right keyframes here. Just take these values that you can see right now. The next camera is basically the same animation, it goes from left to right, it's just closer to the map, and it doesn't zoom out in the end. The animation in values are right here, and the out values are these ones. And the final camera animation, it's just a simple camera that's animated by Z axis. It's not rotating at all. Here's the in value, and here's the out value. Once we've done with the cameras, let's go to the textures. These are the background papyrus textures. I've created it by myself, you can find one on the internet quite easily. I like these textures because map now looks like it's real, like it's made of paper. And I've used quite a lot of them to cover all the area. Here are all of them. And here's how the texture looks like. I've darkened the edges in Photoshop so I can blend them in easily without any masks. These papyrus textures are set to the overlay blending mode. And of course everything in here is a 3D layer, except for the background and the vignette and grain and map colors Libya. We'll talk about this later. But now let's go to vignette. The vignette makes everything darker except for the country in the very center. Here's how it looks right here, right here and here. Here is the shape of this vignette. This vignette is an adjustment layer, layer, new, adjustment layer, and I've applied the mask to it. You can find this mask selector right here, just hit Q a few times until you find the ellipse tool, and then just click and drag. 
you will create such mask. Then unfold the vignette, go to masks, mask 1, and set the feather to 700 pixels. And you will get this smooth vignette. It's almost invisible, but it's there. I like that feel. And the last visual modifier for this map is grain. It's just a simple grain layer, looks like this. And it makes this footage look like it was filmed in 1950s or so. It looks very cool, very old school. And I've set the opacity of this grain to 60% because 100 is way too much. I wanted it to be subtle. And the blending mode is overlay. Then I've added the editing camera. This is for the pure convenience of the user. It's a straight top-down view camera without any animation. And with its help, you can easily select the objects and modify them or drag somewhere, do whatever you want. Because if the camera is at an angle, any angle, if you grab a layer and move it, it might just go under the other layers. Like this. It just disappeared. Because it doesn't move on the straight axis, it moves at an angle to the camera as you see it right now. That's why it disappears. By the way, if you don't want it to disappear and edit it from this camera, you can use these handles. And they allow you to move this text without any problems. But it's way easier to use this camera and move the text immediately into axis with the help of your mouse like this. You can move it into axis, whereas right here you can move it only in one axis. And lastly, the map colors. This is a null object where I have linked all the colors from this composition so that it will be easier for user to edit this map. You won't need to go all over the composition and search for the colors because you've got all of them right here. Let's change the color of the map, for example, to green. Oh. It's way too bright. Let it be dark green. And now this is not Africa. This is a green Africa, not the sandy one. This trick is very useful when you need to edit your templates really fast. So you can just spend five minutes by linking the colors to a single null object. And later on, it will save you hours of your life. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section below.